Uh, hi, in this video we are going to see how to process the flat file. So mainly we are going to take some CSV file which is a comma separated value file and from there we are going to convert that into some fixed length flat file. So how are we going to do? So I am just going to create a new mule project. I will just call that project name as uh, flat file demo and then I will just quickly click finish. So now the project is getting created and uh, how I am going to run this particular application or how I am going to receive this uh, request to this particular mule application so I am just going to add a HTTP listener so whenever there is a request coming to this particular listener we are going to process the data so basically I am going to post some data which is which is CSV format and then which I am trying to convert to flat file form fla flat flight fixed length format so in order to do that I will just create a HTTP connector configuration I'll leave everything with the default value and I'll just here I'll just give uh, I'm just going to post some employee data so I'll just keep my uh, endpoint as employee and then I'll just uh, go to advanced and then I'm going to change this to post method because we are going to post the data and then initially just to check right I'll just simply add a logger and whatever the data it's coming and I'll just try to I'm just changing here to expression mode and then I'll type payload here so now I have created a simple mule application which actually receives the request and it's going to log the data in a console. So I'll start this particular project. Meanwhile, I'll just go to the postman and uh, whatever the data I'm going to post, I need to use a post method and then I'm going to use a local host 8081 and then uh, the endpoint what we have is employee and I'll just go and quickly check as well the name the endpoint name is yeah employee only and here what I'm going to do I'm just go to this body and raw and this one will be text because we are going to post some kind of a tested text data only and I have already downloaded some CSV data from internet you can take any kind of sample file so this particular sample file is having six different column employee ID name prefix which will say your salutation and first name last name gender and email and uh, almost 100 records are there and each record is delimited by new line and then each field is delimited by comma so this is a comma separated value file and this is a sample i'm going to post it and i'll just go to my postman which is my testing application and from there i'm going to post it so before that as it is a comma separated value files i'll just set the content type as well so that the receiving application know the content type of the incoming data application slash csv is my content type so meanwhile i'll just go to any point studio go to console and see my application is deployed or not so it's deployed so i'm going to run the data see here 200 okay and also whatever we posted in the body right it's coming in the response as well which means our application has received the request and I'll just go and see the console see here whatever I have posted it's coming in the console as well so now what I'm going to do is I'll just uh, try to add a transform message here I'll drag and drop transform message here and then I'll try to convert first this to JSON and I'll just give payload so what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to change the output type to JSON so whatever earlier output type is a CSV right I'm going to convert that as a JSON and I'll save this one as the application is already running so whenever you do a save it will be uh, redeploying the artifacts with the latest changes so that is what it's happening now so once we see the application has started see here the application has started now so now I'm going to post the data so earlier when I post the data I'm getting the same CSV data so now I'm converting that as a JSON format see here whatever the data I have sent it so this is one record so one record is having employee ID name prefix first name last name gender and email and similarly you have so many records because I as I told earlier right so we have around 100 records see here 24 of 100 so this particular data is having 100 records and which is coming in a JSON format so now I want to convert this particular input to fixed length flat file format from the CSV format I wanted to convert to fixed length flat file format so that is what we are going to do so how we will do I will just go to the transform message and in the left side you just click define metadata 
and add metadata type. So I'm just going to call this as a employee type. Okay. And then I'll just create a type and currently it's string and type is simple type. So which I'm going to change it to fixed width. And then I'm going to add a few fields because we have six fields. I'll add zero to five and then I'll just uh, name my field with a similar name, which is MPID, which is my first field which is almost having uh, six characters. So I have defined 10 as a width. So it should be okay. Name prefix. And uh, so this is the one it's having a salutation. And if you look at the data and uh, some of them are MS dot and uh, and then professor dot and uh, honorable and uh, other stuff, right? So I, uh, so maybe this width will be coming within 10 digit only. So I'll leave it like that. And first name, and then I'll just change it to 20 because there are 100 records. Maybe some of the first name, last name, maybe it will be maximum with 20 characters. Okay, then I'll just go to the gender. So gender, if I look at the data, right, if it is, it's having F or M only. So it's accepting one character. And then last one email. And uh, some of the email ID is really big and uh, it occupy more space. And I'll just uh, for this one alone, I'll just give more uh, width, which is almost I'll give like 40 characters. And then I'll just click select. So now if you look at this one, once you define the metadata and uh, you saved it, right? So when you save it, it will come to main resources and there will be a new file called whatever the name you gave and with dot FFT flat file definition file will get created. If you open the file, it will say whatever the field name you have provided and uh, it's a string and then the length, whatever you have given, right? So that's created in a YAML format. Okay. So this is a YAML format. The flat file schema definition is stored as a YAML format. So now what I'm going to do earlier, whenever we see the CSV data, we were printing it right and then we even converted as json and printing it so now i wanted to print in a this particular specification only so this particular flat file specification only i want to print it so in order to do that instead of json right i'll just change that to flat file and then i'll change this to schema path equal to and then i'll have to give this path this is the name i have to give employee type colon dot fft and then what I want to print, I wanted to print the entire payload and then I wanted to convert as a flat file and uh, it has to refer the schema path from this particular location. So now I have saved it. I'll go to the console and uh, even whatever the changes which we have done, it's applied now. I'll try to run it now. See here, now this is coming in a fixed length flat file format. So for example, first position, I gave it with 10 character, right? So the sixth character, it's coming from the data. The remaining four character, it's adding a space. Similarly, the next one also I gave 10. And then I think first name, last name, I gave 20 characters. So it's filling the data. And then this F for M, right? This is F and this is M. And that's a female or male, right? So that's a gender, which is one character. So that is why there is no additional space added. At the end, it's adding a email id and the remaining characters out of 40 characters we have specified in the specification it's filling with the spaces there so this is how the fixed length uh, format looks because we will tell exactly where your field is starting and where it is ending so so this is a fixed flat file format which i i have converted it even if you wanted to write it you can use a file model and you can write it or even what you wanted to send this data to the sftp location then you can use a sftp module in order to send the fixed length flat file data to your sftp location so this way you can convert output to the flat file and also you can convert the schema which we need to refer in order to convert that into that particular output data thank you